Let's talk a little bit about um, the agency and, and the transition it's gone through over the last several years. I mean, actually, it's been three years since um, you know founder Roy Spence was starting to sort of step away from the business. Um, of course, clients like Walmart and BMW had had um, gone on a different path. Um, more recently, you dropped Idea City from the name, and yet in more recent months, I've, you, you've gained Walgreens as a client and HomeAway in the fall. So lots of change, um, but you know, obviously a lot of great wins too, and you, you're getting some momentum there. So bring us up to speed. Where is the agency now, and sort of um, how would you describe its state? If you go back to 2007, 70% of our agency's client roster is new over that period of time. Mm -hmm. So we're establishing new relationships with new clients. Um, we still have Southwest Airlines. We should remain a, a roster shop with, with Southwest Airlines. Mm -hmm. And they are going through a, a search right now for adding additional firepower. Mm -hmm. um, and you know they'll make their decision when they do that. Um, for us, though, we have been able to focus on uh, our experience with Walmart where we learned retail and apply that to many other categories. So when we worked with Walmart, we were working in many departments, but you could only have Walmart as a client. So today, since that relationship, uh, we departed. Uh, we picked up L.L. Bean, mm -hmm. Marshalls, Ace Hardware, Zales, um, as well as uh, John Deere and Goodyear. So we've applied all that retail experience yep. to many more clients. As you as you. Uh, list the clients. What what do you what would you say is a common thread among all of them? All of them uh, are retail focused, mm -hmm. and uh, and we think we do that pretty well. And also our approach at GSM is purpose. We go back to what is the purpose of that organization. What I mean by that is what's that difference that that brand or product or service or experience makes in the life of the consumer. And so we try to leverage that purpose in terms of how we communicate. So. A brand's purpose inspires our creative and it ultimately informs our strategies. And then we are able to deliver for our clients. What needs to be the single um, most vital skill that an agency has within? I think as an organization and as individuals within an organization, the, the, the number one skill we have to have is the ability to listen and listen well. They say that 90% of people listen to respond and only 10% of people listen to understand. If we can spend the time to listen to our clients, we can help them by bringing whatever tools we have in the toolbox to bear for them. But we really have to understand, and that understanding comes from dialogue with the client, it comes from understanding their category, it comes from understanding the competition and the landscape they play in, and it comes from a thorough understanding of their consumer. We have to have those insights in order to be able to create those solutions that can help drive their business and deliver. So what is keeping CMOs up at night? Well, I think you know the, the challenge for CMOs is I think um, it's the marketplace, uh, how the economy is, is, is coming back, and is it really coming back? I think there's a lot of pressure on CMOs. Um, they're still short-term tenure positions, it seems, you know, a couple of years. So I think they come in with an attitude towards change and that I'm going to have to do something. And making those decisions, they're looking for partners that can help them deliver. You know, ultimately, we have to deliver confidence to our clients that we have the people and the skills and the ability and the track record, having done it for other clients, that we can deliver for them. And so, when you're in that process of reviewing or your agency roster or you're talking to particular prospects, they have to see that we've done it before and see that we can do it for them.